Whoa, it's another edited bonus video. Hello everybody, welcome to the, uh, it's not a stream, but, uh, this is a little bonus video of just doing up those loose little bits in Shadow Man that I had done, or rather, ended up in the stream. Uh, we ended up in the scenario where I had 639 of the Caddo's, and, uh, there's a little bit of a optional goodie to show off just before I wandered into the end of the game. Uh, if I managed to find the remaining 27 Caddo's, uh... As we ended up on, well, that's, that's the one thing that's actually left to do in this game, but uh, you can see that there's one Caddo in the, uh, the bayou, we've got two in Texas jail, we've got six in Florida summer camp, two in the Mojave desert, uh, four in dead side somewhere, um, three in the wasteland, uh, four in the asylum experimentation rooms, uh, three in the Temple of Fire, and I think I did really well, and two in the Temple of Blood, and that's it. Um, so I'll be just editing, how do we find all these remaining bits? Uh, and with that, away I go in finding them. It's definitely a little annoying to go back and grab all the Caddo's, but you sort of have to do it if, uh, you know, if there's something, well, you don't actually have to do it really 100% of the game, unless there is an achievement for it, maybe I should have looked that one up. But you do have to take out all these enemies, because they always respawn. And unless I knew exactly where the Caddo's are, mm, I'm winging it. <laughs> but I do have a good hunch of how these levels work, so... It's probably not the worst. This is a perfect example of how did I miss that one. Wow! Well, that's one down. 26 to go. Warping into this place actually starts you from the back of everything. Uh, so, it'll be kind of interesting fighting my way back out, but... Uh, all I've got to do is internally remember where they are. I got a good hunch that they're probably just chilling up here, to be honest. Not yet. But I don't remember looking up here. I remember trying to finish the stream quicker than, than uh, I thought, so. That's the fun part about the magic of editing. Is that in theory, you don't know when this was recorded. But it's November 19th for reference to it. We're well past um, Halloween, so... There's one, okay. In one of these cells, interesting. There's still another one on this level though. Interesting Caddo there. Very odd. So it's just like a dead end up some staircase. Right from the hallway to end the level. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, as a heads up as well, uh, since there are zero Caddo's in the uh, engine block, you can guarantee that you don't have to go through the exit portals of any of these levels. Uh, unfortunately, there's six in the summer camp, so let's check that one out now. We spawned about halfway in the level, and I sort of wish I had the um, the halfway checkpoint. I'm 
unlocked. It's a very fun texture. It's just an uneven number of logs. Or planks, rather. Last Christmas I gave you my heart And the very next day you gave it away This year to save you from tears I forgot the last word of the song Chilling it. Nice. I actually wandered backwards through the warp point of the level, but uh, this gate's still been open. Um, there's probably uh, more, you know, places that loop back. Um, but given that you had to enter the left side of the building, oh, there's this ledge as well. It's there, there's a door there, but I don't know if I remember going up there, and neither does the game. So. Oh look, there's another one as well. Cool. Very nice. Okay, three to go. Oh, there's another one inside. Sure. Ah, maybe this is the way to go back. It is. It totally is. Cool. Cool, up to the extent that there's still two more Kettos, but it's not as cool, but now you know. Oh, here's one. Right at the start, just chilling next to the gate. The gaping mouth gate, if you will. I know my brain's currently in Tomb Raider mode, but I am seeing these slopes now in a very different light. I'm trying to figure out... This is not... This is not my beautiful wife. This is not the same pool. And I'm definitely going reverse. Oh my goodness, there it is. There it is. Wow, that's a crafty spot. So, yeah, okay, I'm trying to figure out, I think this is the, the massive hole that you drop down, you land in the water, and uh, you can't jump up quite here, but this is, there's two different chambers with rivers, and this is the, uh, right before the boss fight, right before the boss fight, cool, okay, note that one, uh, that's, that's the summer camp. That's probably the worst one. But the second worst one I gotta also do, so... To the Mojave Desert! Uh, for reference, my recording is currently 58 minutes. I spent quite a while in that previous level, so hopefully this one's not as bad. Someone 100% wanted this. Now, now you know. Now you know. Hey, check it out. Right outside the inn, there's a, uh, Kato just chilling here. Surprised I even missed that one. Oh my gosh, right at the end. Outside the disco, but just... Casual U-turn in the final back alley. Right at the end. Okay. That's all the live side stuff. So that's nice. Uh, now time for the... 
elusive, I miss stuff in the Marrow Gates level. Let's check it out. Come on. <laughs> oh, did you look at that? In the beginning part, there seems to be some, uh... There's two more. Is there gonna be one in here? Hey, check it out! They're all four, right at this jump. There was the dark soul up there, you cross over here, and you gotta use your little, you know... Uh, what's it, the flambeau? The flambeau! Knock open these three, there's all your caddos. Cool! Okay. Four more levels to go, with 12 caddos across them. Let's go to the Temple of Life. Come on, Slowpoke! This level isn't particularly large. But I got a hunch that the caddos are all chilling near the beginning parts of the level. As long as I can take out these guys. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Well, we got this cat, though, just chilling here. Always on this lake. That is one out of three. Oh, I'm amazed I actually never even went back to that one. That sort of implies I've never even wandered back to this level but this way. At least since I can roll the lava. Not sure if I'll need it. We'll see. So I don't know if I wandered up this path uh, since I was since I had the ability to walk on lava. Would have definitely had to give up by this point. Hmm. Feel like I did walk up here. Or did I? Ooh, that's one. That's one! That's one, Kato! Ooh, I was expecting two right there. Well, still one short. But I got a hundred probably somewhere just along the lava. I knew it, I knew it would be just... Right there, I knew I wouldn't have looked at that one. <laughs> okay, that is... Another level down, nine Caddos to go. The next one with Caddos is the Experimentation Rooms. We haven't been here in a while. Hey, there's one. Cool, okay, right at the bottom of the... Uh of the, the first half behind this pedestal. Yeah. And that's one. Let's check the rest. Hey, there's one. This is underneath the staircase during the uh the new added in well the recent added in boss fight. Uh, this spinny bit, there was one Keto chilling there. I now have one more hiding somewhere, and unfortunately, <laughs> they weren't, none of them were in pairs. They were all over the level. So we'll see where the last one is. in the last place I'd look, which is uh, at the top of the staircase thing, which is strange because I swear off the top of my head I've been here, but I hadn't even opened this door, which is the third level. This, like, stacked room <laughs> it was the one up the top. Ah, uh, I can't believe I wandered around here for so long. This legitimately took me an hour and a bit, so fortunately, two levels ago. Come on, 
Oh wow, that was always chilling there. Jeez. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed. I'm like, oh my gosh, how how many times did I wander past that bit? And it's like, yep, no, you missed that one. So two more in this level, and four more total. There we go. Climb my way over. Uh, do the kind of awkward jump. Awkward jump back. And then I guess I'll just walk down here. Can't believe I missed this. Uh, we use the flambeau, that one. Get it. Little dung beetles, but inside there's one and two. Okay, that's both caddos that I was missing right there, so that's all cool. Okay, one more level to go, which is the uh, the Temple of Blood. These two should be painfully obvious, like, if I miss these, uh, I'm doing this game very wrong. Um... Oh, I don't think I looked up here. Oh my gosh! They were here! Oh my goodness! How did I manage to miss those? Okay. With that, that is now 666 Cado. Pick up all 666, and suddenly, in the fogger meters, Find the, the light soul. So let's wander all the way back. Uh, this is the this is the room that I had. Uh, uh, oh my gosh! Now try, try to figure out where this room was. Um, it looks like it was through a, a corridor like this. <laughs> For reference, uh, it is now a bit later since uh, since I finished Shadow Man. Um, for reference, I'm recording this uh, on the 10th of December, which is currently, well, I finished this game at the end of October, and uh, I've basically finished all of the uh, the Tomb Raider 3 content, although i still got the, the last artifact streams to go. Um, but uh, <laughs> it means I'm trying to remember off the top of my head where this path was. I think it was this way. That's all good. Sorry, fellas. Oh, I am really gonna cop it. I am really gonna cop it. Wow, that's how you know it's been a while. It's been a... <laughs> I know, right? It's been a hot while since i played this video game. It's a bit embarrassing, ain't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So for reference, I, uh, I took my sweet time trying to find some of those caddos, and then it's like, well, I booked myself this amount of time to record. I took too long to get it, so I put it down, and uh, by the time I was fully done, well, it's December. You know how it do be. Better late than never, though. Watch out, jeez. Alright, up we go, up the, the ledge. I believe we had the split path and it was the top door, right? Pretty sure it was. And if not, then it was the bottom door, or something like that. Round and round and round we go. There we go, through here. Let's land on that. There's the top door. Was it the top door I needed to go through, or was it... I'm pretty sure it was this one, because this drops us off at, uh... Yeah. Again, let's not... Let's not die. Man, it's kind of annoying having to constantly charge up the the gun. There we go. 
I think it was back this way. Long path around the back. Here we go. It's like a one of each of every enemy, apparently. So back in this room that we needed 10 shadow level and all Dark Souls to get through, we have this door. Now that we're able, or we have every cadeau, this door opens up, revealing another door. Oh my goodness, but don't worry, this one just opens up. We have some kind of infernal machine going on. But if you crawl through this little, little hidey hole, up the ramp, drop down, oh, it's gonna get baited immediately. See, now you know there's no Cato to find. Come on. We're gonna need to use our engineer's key on this door. Walk to the door, and would you look at this? It's like a Dark Soul, but it's... For I am Lord of Dead Side. It's white. And what do we have here? Well, uh, you can see I'm shooting the... The... You know, the shadow gun, but... I'm not charging it. In fact, I'm holding down the trigger right now. What the Light Soul does is it permanently gives you full power shadow gun without needing to charge it up. Which does make all your encounters a bit easier. The only downside is you literally had to pick up all the cadeau in the game. So, what do you get out of it? I don't know. But it's a nice little, it's a nice little fun secret. It's neat. You go pew 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 pew. You come out here and start wrecking some people. Come on. <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of a hallway, ain't it? Do 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 do. Very lonely. Here we go. Just start taking out people. It's still as strong as a level 10, you know, shadow gun. So it's not exactly ridiculously overpowered. But it is constantly charged, which is... It just means that you can dish these out so much easier than you could before. So very nice. Now, let's save the adventure there. Uh, but I would like to add... This is not... The last thing that I actually wanted to show off because there exists like a schoolyard secret you know something where someone goes oh if you do this this and this you'll find this like super hidden thing and you know a lot of the time oh okay you're just kind of making it up or something like that but this game has well rather this remaster has one of the most I guess incredible kinds of secrets you need to pick up um, so let's and, and in order to fully get it, by the way, you basically need to do something in every single level, which means my effort of clearing out all these levels, I need to do it one last time. So, let's go back to the Bayou Paradis and uh, continue on. So, as we're back here, uh, we need to, one, clear out these dogs, which isn't a problem anymore because they all die in just one regular old hit. You don't actually need to clear out the dogs, but I'm just doing it for convenience sake. There we go. Okay, what you need to do is don't shoot this barrel. Uh, <laughs> this is this is for reference. This is uh, how this is all going to be set up. We're going to need to jump over onto this roof. Now, you start thinking, hmm, okay, you're sort of going out of bounds. Like, you can clearly see that, you know. Hey, the back of the building's here. We can keep going, though. Gra- oh, whoops. We're gonna need to grab onto that fence. Whoops. So, let's try the barrel again. Try the door. There we go. Maybe I should just save here. Um, save. Ooh. Not having a fun time apparently. Perhaps instead of that, I should just jump over to the wall and then go from here because I think climbing is going to be hit and miss. Now, here's a bit of a weird part. We're on the roof, okay? And now what you need to do is you need to stand on the entrance way and this will sort of enter the inverse, like as in as in we've triggered 
actually entering the entranceway now. Now I'm going to save here. What you need to see is that you can't see anything. But if you use a torch of some kind, you can actually see that there is a mask there. You need to jump onto the mask and then... Oh. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to fall because you're actually in crazy out-of-bounds territory. But like clearly, clearly this mask is indicating that, hey, you know, something's up. Because, yeah, this platform does not exist for too much, you know, space, basically. In fact, is it just untextured? Maybe. You're going to see me constantly trial and, and error these a bit as well. Okay. I'm not jumping soon enough. Okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> We'll get there, we'll get there. Two times in a row, I just overshot it like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. We're almost there, we're almost in the clear. Okay. From the table, you got enough height to just jump on the corner here. You're able to run up the, uh, kind of roof now. And if you're right in the middle, if you're right in the middle and you're aiming the right way, you should be able to get just enough height to, to jump up there. But do you see that? Do you see what's up here? This is probably the iffiest jump, but it's like, well, if you don't manage to land the jump, that's okay. You just keep jumping, but keep trying. There you go. You'll grab the ledge, climb up, and you'll see there's a teddy bear. This teddy bear, for reference, if I save right here, this teddy bear does not exist if you, uh... Hold on, that's like no clip, ain't it? God. Yeah. If you have cheats on, the teddy bear is not there, by the way. So, the only way you even see that the teddy bear is here is if you're playing legit, which I've currently not done because I've absolutely turned on cheats. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> So here we go, we're back. Uh, you have to turn off the whole game in order to effectively tell it to not have cheats. Pick this up. We have the teddy bear show up. This is the first of 19 teddy bears. There are 19 teddy bears, one in every single level, found some somehow by just breaking out of bounds. Your reward will be at the end of collecting all of them. So, let's continue on. Let's go to Morden Street, Queens. So, from the spawn, we want to walk over to... Uh... The outside area that's on the first floor. Which I think was this way, and if it's not, then... Whoops, but... Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure it was this way. This one's probably not too much of a secret... Well, it is still a secret, but... It's probably not that bad just because, uh, the, you know, the number of things that you can climb and go out of bounds in is pretty small. Okay. Uh, but this one's not really too much a mystery. You just gotta... Yeah, you can see that this ledge, this is just... You can stand on that. That should... Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a doozy spot. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Up onto the roof. Um, and now we can see the wonderful exterior of the level. Uh, let me save up here just so that I don't, you know, don't drop it. But uh, we should be able to stand out here in this alleyway and sort of... Uh, I might as well use the... Um, I guess we can do both the flashlight and the... Lambo, can't we? There you go. Look at that double light. Uh, but there's lots of these little tiny alleyways all over the place. Probably just where the the um, you know where where the where they decide to, to model the map. Um, so you don't really get too much beyond the the rooms that you actually can go in. But it is interesting just to see like here's the edges of the buildings. Uh, as well as also an actual look at the skybox. 
Like, look at all these buildings around here. I mean, I know it's New York. But it's, like, it's like, ah, yes. Everything New York, so. Be a bit cautious, but you're technically on the other side of this wall here. And you can keep wandering around uh, some of these streets, which sort of seem like you wouldn't even be able to see some of these. The teddy bear is just at the end of this walkway, so it's not that bad. Okay, to the next level, which is in Gardell County Jail, Texas. The secret is that I spend most of my time wandering back through areas that I don't fully remember. Do we just have to go in the normal way? I might as well just go in the normal way, because I can't figure out how to go back this way. Done. Come on, now the fun part is trying to guess which room he was in. Not that one. He's the Lizard King because there's a lizard symbol up here. Why am I? <laughs> and I missed that one. Through the front door. Alright, so through the front door of the level, we're just gonna wander straight through. Right through. At this outside area, turn right. Around the corner we go. Keep wandering forward. In this area, we'll need to climb up. The, for the upstairs, which is not that bad. And down the stairs we go to the first room on the left. Do not break the barrels on the left side there. I want to be a bit cautious. Let's get rid of all these guys because they are going to be problems. And all these fellas trickling in. Alright, let's have a crack at this. Okay. This one's not too bad, but it does look real weird. It, it's a real weird looking one. You can sort of grab this light. Can't exactly describe what's going on here. There you go. Got the light. Okay. Save up here. Um, this is not as much an out of bounds, but it does look real weird. It's like the game just thinks, oh, okay, you've fallen for a bit. Okay, you're not moving, so you must have stopped. And you can see the teddy bear is just chilling back here. It's a bit of a weird spot. It's, uh, inside a fair bit of level. In fact, actually, how much out of bounds can we even see? Hmm, not a ton. Not a ton right here. But, uh, there's that level. To the down street. Alright, do I know where I'm going in this level? Not really. I'm just gonna wander, I think, forward we go. Because we need to get to the one bit with the, um, the train carriages. And again, not breaking barrels. Funny how Tomb Raider 3 also had a similar level. Not as many demon dogs, though. Uh, oh, here we are, the part with the train carriages. Okay, uh, so there's a part 
of the train carriage part, uh, unless this is the wrong... No, no, we're good, we're good. There's a part where, um, you're in sort of a encapsulated kind of area. Was it through this door? Um, it's not that. But, uh, it's not this part. Oh. Yeah, here you go. It's this area right here. Alright. I think it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta kinda keep trying at this corner. And eventually you'll just get through here. There you go. Like that. You don't even grab the ledge. Um, but uh, yeah, you can look through this corridor. It sort of keeps going on for a bit, but... It's just a room that keeps looping, and then a wall. Um, to the other direction we go. <laughs> yeah, unlike Tomb Raider, nothing's coming to just whack us over though. Um, but yeah, to the other direction, you'll find... Oh my gosh. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, hello? Teddy bear was on the other side. Whoops. Whoa. I can't get the angle right to do these like long jumps. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm blind. The teddy bear was on was on the uh, turn left side. So here we go. Four down. 15 to go, to the summer camp. Alright, so from where we warp to, I feel like it's potentially easier to come from the, uh, the cathedral side entrance. But I'll do it from the warp, just cause. There's <laughs> so many doors that are not real. Weird ledges that climb up a bit weird. Uh, this one's probably not too bad because there's a couple of um, well, there, there's a there's a loop back to skip through this beginning part. That being said, I am sort of committing to going back through this way, but that's okay. I don't think there's really a, a great path. Maybe this, yeah, no, I don't know. Because it is quicker from the start of the level, wouldn't it be? It'd be quicker from the start of the level to get to like where the theater is, or the entrance of the theater. But it's not quicker to go from the uh, like the warp of the outside area. There we go. Also, I guess technically we're still in the theater, but you know what I mean, like the actual. The weird split outside part. It is a bit of a long walk, ain't it though? There we go. So there's the uh, main entrance, and we're gonna go through the little side cut that'll lead back to the beginning of the level. Crocodile here! Yeah. I keep forgetting there was a crocodile here. Uh, was it? Was this the side cut? You can jump up here, right? No? What am I thinking? I will just go through this way again. Oh, that was the side cut up there. Yeah. Nope, it wasn't. No? Nope. What am I thinking? What am I remembering? At this rate, though, how far away am I from the front of the level, anyways? N not at all. <laughs> okay. Okay, so from, uh, particularly, I think, would it be this point or would it be the other one? Because there's two gates. I think it would be this one, would be the better one. Let's save. 
Alright, there's a lot of stuff to, to keep track of. Alright, so we're gonna do the same thing as that uh, uh as the New York level where we try to try to climb up here. Oh, come on. Come on. The real the real trickiest part trying to figure out this handle. There you go. Dang it. I should have saved right there. There's always an element, an element of uh, doing it first go pride. I'm just like, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. There you go. Okay. Keep making progress, keep making progress, keep saving. Okay. Now we're going to kind of do some, some weird little jumps. Uh, apparently you've got to sort of land... Like... You gotta do a bit of a weird jump here because you need to trigger uh, the the corridor, I guess. Because otherwise, then that whole area is not loaded. So there you go. And now that area is loaded, so we're good. Let's keep. Oh. <laughs> Let's not slide down. <laughs> Let's stick to the high ledges, which shouldn't be too iffy, except here, because now there is no high ledge, so you've sort of got to hop onto this lamp post. Come on. <laughs> this lamp post. There you go. And then... Oh. And then onto the, the ledge behind it. Uh, you gotta sort of mosey around these trees. It's a little weird looking, ain't it? Um, especially, yeah, but it's not too bad. And then, um, this is where we get into, like, I don't know what's going on here. This lamppost is, for some odd reason, a, uh, a lava fall. You can, you can just climb it. <laughs> they just made this lamppost climbable, you know, as you do. So now we're up here, uh, let's do a save here. We're gonna slide down and trigger this kind of area on the side here. There we go. Uh, this is actually, I think this is a entirely walled off area, is it? No, it's just a swamp area. Um, weirdly on the, on the horror difficulty, this actually, um, I don't know, yeah, yeah. Weirdly on the horror difficulty, this triggers a bunch of, like, true forms to appear. So once you're at this far end, I believe you can just jump onto this building. There you go. Just like that. Save there. And then... Gonna just have to make... The way... Oh! Yeah. That's, that's what you gotta be... What gotta be caught out for. Um... Let's see if I can do a bit of a far jump. Oh! There we go. Okay, oh. Nope. No, no, no. There you go. You're just gonna have to wander around the whole outside of this area for a bit. Until you reach this rock back over here. There we go. Oh. Yep. There we go. Climb up the rock. Like this, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, so I'm trying to not like jump sideways and jump out of the world. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're almost there. This one's such a trek, but isn't isn't the level of trek? Climb up to this tree again. This is a uh, a lava fall of some kind, I guess. A bit of a climb, but yeah, what a what a really bizarre secret this one is. And uh, the teddy bear is just chilling down here at the bottom of this tree stump. What a what a bizarre secret this one is. And I think it only works because we are technically in a different like scene 
or a different kind of like layer of the map. Um, because if I was to jump down, and then we try to continue. I think this would yell at us that, yeah, this would yell at us because we're basically not in the right layer. Or rather, we become in the right layer, but now, yeah, that's why there's no tr trees and things like that here. Uh, you can technically still break out of bounds, but I don't think this is, uh, nah, this isn't right at this point. So... Alright, with that, we've got one more live side level to go, which is the Mojave Desert. Alright, so from the start here, let, oh, oh, the mic. From the start here, we wander around. There's this weird mechanic where apparently, you know, this this is a bit of a weird ledge, but if you keep rolling, and you time it just right, you should be able to keep going up the slope. We kind of have to be on the right angle. There you go. Spit forward. There we go. Cool. Now I'm up here. Let's save the game up here. For reference as well, I don't think there's an indicator for your teddy bears. Uh, this one is just here, so it's not actually that, that far away. Um, and of course, getting caught in the backside of the level. Very fun. Okay, to the dead side levels. We've got the Marrow Gates. Uh, or I think, uh, mm, yeah, I think the Marigates is actually where you want to be. This one I think is pretty straightforward. We just, uh, wander forward until we get to the end of this kind of first area, just before the Prophecy Gates. Maybe I should have just gone to the Prophecy Gates and went backwards and said, oh well, we're going this way. No more gates. It feels good to take out all these enemies this time. <laughs> and you just got the, you know, the wish them out kind of weapon. And that one guy who's spitting at me from down there. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Alright, we're good. Uh, it's actually, it's not that far away, it's, it's just like right here. You can stand on this and I think you need to jump onto the... onto the rope beam. Which is a bit of an iffy jump. But, you know. It's just right here, come on. There you go. Up we go. Cool. And I know I'm saving just right up here, but it's like, it's not that bad. It's, oh. Just a bit, of a bit of a leap. Another one. Teddy bear's chilling there. Very nice. Okay, so to the Temple of Life. Alright, from the Temple of Life, we gotta go backwards. It's more close to the start, but I don't think there's any convenient real route to go back other than the warps. And this one's not that bad. Oh, that synth is so lovely though, ain't it? Go back up through the weeds, up we go. Alright, once you're out of this lake part, we're just going to go up this, uh, lava, well, it's not really a lava pool, it's a blood pool at this point. Let's take out all these dudes who are pestering us. There we go. Alright, up the blood pool we go. There's so much blood in this game, why? Got some dudes chilling here. Uh, this one is a bit strange. Um, if I had to 
describe how this one is, it's basically somewhere on the back wall. Uh, if you get the rolling right, then you can get up onto this ledge. So close. Come on. There's a rhythm to it. Oh, excuse me? Whoa! Whoa! That guy's out for blood, apparently. We're gonna have another one wander up on me, don't we? Get him out of there. This is a very iffy roll. This other guy does the roll from the other side. I'm gonna try that one. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, the other side was a bit better. All right. Interestingly, it looks like you should be jumping onto the, the hut, but nope. We're not jumping onto the hut. We're jumping onto the, uh, this ledge back here. Okay. The slope is just angled in just the right way. That you can do some funky jumps over here. And along the... The back wall? Yeah, there it is. There's the teddy bear. On, Bit tricky, that one. Pretty tricky. To the Asylum Gateway. Come on. There we go. Okay, so from the spawn, this one is sort of one of the weirdest ones that I think I know of. Because uh, this is a... Oh, okay. Kind of ones. If we use a... Uh, this is not technically a cheat. This is just... Well, it is sort of a cheat. But one of our uh, secrets was the wireframe cheat. You can actually see very briefly, or very faintly. Actually, hold on, let me let me get the the flambeau out. There we go. You can see that there's actually like <laughs> a corridor that's just here, but without the wireframe, I don't know. You can't see it. It's not even like there must be another way in. Hmm. Alright, so I thought that, hmm, that was a little weird that the, the teddy bear's not there. Weirdly, this triggers a, um, a secret in the level, that voice line. So now we gotta go all the way back. All the way back up. I'm thinking this way is actually the quicker way to get back into the level, or alternate way to cop the death. Let's just call the death. Very dead. Damn. But uh, I was gonna say there's a uh, there's a walkthrough on the internet. There's two walkthroughs about getting this one, and they're both wrong. Uh, because okay, so now uh, one of these lamps is your ticket to getting out of here. I think it might be this one actually. 
Perhaps this lamp didn't even appear before, but it definitely appears now. And you're able to grab onto it, and, uh, oh. You know. Magic carpet ride. Oh, they really want me to end up here, don't they? Oops. Oh, no, you baited me. Magic carpet. How could you? How could you, magic carpet? I might just save it on this one just in case. What a strange platform. So I assume it stops here, you're meant to jump off, walk around to this side, it's then gonna zoom around, come back here, you're gonna need to land on it, might as well save it again, and then we're gonna need to, what, fly our way over here, where I might need to land on another one of these, yep. <laughs> Come back to pick me up. Ooh. Okay. Wrong one. Wrong save. This is a really iffy jump, ain't it? Got there. Cool. <laughs> cool. Okay. Woo! You... Game. Game. <laughs> I just want you to jump that. Okay. So now that we're up here, um... More platform? Is it chill? Oh. Oh, it did go out there. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's that's real pushing it. Oh my gosh, they're really pushing it. And it's partially because I probably stopped to smell the roses when I jumped up here, but geez, okay. Oh. I could probably, I could probably land this. I don't think I've goofed this. There you go. First try. First try. But now what? Whoop, we are going, oh, we're going up, we're going around. We're we jumping over here now. Yeah, okay. So... Now that I'm up here, um... <laughs> oh, okay. So now that I'm up here, you can very, very faintly see. But if I do a bit of a... Quatcha! I missed. <laughs> I missed real bad. This is like Crash Bandicoot, like the platform goes up in the space. It's on, it's on the roof, right there, I can see it there. There you go. What a, what a hiding spot. That's a changed hiding spot as well. It was, it was an, it was right at the simple spot before. And now it's not, so. To everyone's favorite added in level. Alright, this one's in, uh, the spot near the boss. So I'm trying to think what's the fastest way to get there, and I think if I can go out from here, hi there, hi there. So once you're back at this lake part of the level, uh, particularly right where this guy is in the cage, get rid of him, get rid of his fellow neighbors. 
go. Okay. The trick is, apparently, that, uh, if you, if you take some shots, you can see that, uh, at a certain location, your shots are actually going through the fence. This guy's gonna come up and test me. Uh, we're gonna take some jumps. I'm just gonna try and jump on the... the, the kind of arch. And then... up through the door, up to the hole. There you go. It's actually not that bad. There's a teddy bear right there at the end. This is, uh... Oh, it's still out of bounds, but it's less out of bounds than probably some of the other ones. Okay, on to the Cathedral of Pain. Alright, for this one we want to go over to, I think... Is it this one? I, I saw it written down as, uh... The serial killer themselves. So, I think it might be this one. Looks about right. Uh, what we want to do is we want to jump up onto the fence here. I'm gonna save here because this is uh, this is a very iffy uh, iffy part. Um, we want to get onto the rope. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah, you can you can see why this is gonna be a bit iffy. Getting onto the rope and then being able to walk up the rope. you like it backwards, Moonlight Sonata. Okay, okay. Now, just, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Do I dare just jump it? Oh, oh. Cool, cool. Okay, okay. And then, wander around and on the rear side of this, behind the pit. Oh. You saw it, you saw it for a hot second there. all good <laughs> what a what a tricky one to get to so to the engine block all right this one's actually a bit of a lie it actually is um you've got to go to uh the the train tunnels and then actually get through all the way to the gate at the end of this this train subway I'm gonna wander backwards because I think this might be the uh, mildly quicker way of getting to the end. <laughs> that is a bit cruel though, you gotta go all the way back here. This is probably the worst one as well to wander back through because the, the spawn isn't even close. As we approach uh, this part, uh, you should be able to. Let's do a save here just in case. Uh, you should be able to just kind of like 
jump towards this ledge and then roll in. Just kind of works like that. Uh, and then there's this like weird little, well, it's just a little pissing machine. The teddy bear is inside, and then we can uh, appreciate sweet death. Or it could just stop right in time. So. That's technically the engine block. Technically, done. To the Temple of Fire! This one's kind of cool, but it is also at the very, very beginning of the level. So, maybe this one's another one where, uh, if you can just wander to it, maybe it's quicker. But this one's probably not too bad, because you spawn halfway in the level. I really explored this low enough times, so I'll tell you that. to the beginning of the level, uh, we should be able to be up here. Now, I mean the very, very beginning. Like, if you wander just that little bit more in that direction, you'll definitely exit the level. But uh, if you kind of just roll, like, right here, you should be able to sort of land here and then you're able to jump past the trigger that detects that you're supposed to go down this walkway. Amazingly this walkway gets longer and thinner as you go along. Are these meant to be teeth as well? Hold on. They sort of do look like teeth, don't they? Ugh. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just meant to be, like, stitched together, but they- I don't know, it looks more like teeth as you go along. Um... Sort of like faces if you look at it from a weird angle. Um... It's kind of an amazing little look at this corridor as you keep going down, but, uh... The teddy bear's right there at the end. Very cool. Oh, I guess we can't exactly fall off, can we? Otherwise, how will Shadow Man get through? Still, it's a cool corridor. I like it. To the cageways! Alright, so from the start of this level, we actually want to move the train back. It's in the other half. Yep. Sorry, train. You're gonna get no love today. Take out these few dudes who are chilling here. Oh, there you go. And now we're on the other side. No one should really bother us, I think. Uh, the goal is we need to get up to there. We can do that by jumping sort of like this towards the light. I think these spiky bits aren't physical, so that's okay. But the light here is our friend. I think there'd be a shadow being cast here. So excuse me, the little grubs can pathfind. Alright, the light is the first is the first ledge. We then need to jump. Straight up. You're gonna need to stand on. You're gonna be sliding. You're gonna need to stand on here. It's okay, it's painful. And then, yeah, that's a bit of an iffy jump, but you get there. Steady there. And you're technically out of bounds. So, enjoy it while it lasts. To the playrooms! Alright, this one's not too bad, but it does involve me trying to remember the layout of the whole place. Now, if my memory is okay, then I've got this. But, uh, it's probably not. I have a mild hunch in this bag. Oh, I didn't even claim these, did I? Might as well claim this right now. 
sort of worthless by now, especially when I've maxed out the ammo anyways, I can't even pick it up, but might as well unlock these, use the accumulators for their last purpose, free up an inventory slot, which will forever look kind of weird. That's what they're for though. It definitely wasn't down here. Here, if you want her into this room, this is the pool room. Uh, but very interestingly, you're supposed to sort of infer that you can use the. Oh. What you're meant to do is you're meant to stand on here for 20 seconds. Just chillin'. You don't have to do anything. And then after 20 seconds, it'll just warp you up here, where, uh, you know, right, right where the, uh, the accumulate piece is. Also, hi there. How you doing? But, uh, in particular, the teddy bear spawns. You give this person one last fight. Oh, they are. No match for this thing. Yeah, no match. What a very strange secret, though. I'll tell you that. So, four more levels to go. Come on. All right, this one was always a, a fun, a fun area to go through, trying to figure out, oh, I don't, trying to figure out which uh, which rooms connect to what, whether you're going in the right direction or not. Uh, hopefully, I've got the right path to get to the room that we need to get to. Uh, but we're going to the room with the giant kind of hammer just swinging in the middle. Um, just the long room. I think it's around the outside. So, we'll get there by going the normal way. Maybe there is a quicker path, but... My path is the quicker path at this rate. There we go. Ooh. This room. There was a warp there. I probably could have just taken the warp. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take this from a bit of a weird side. Uh, but the gist is you need to sort of run up it, take the hit. Like you can, you can land and jump up the swinging part. So if you get the jump just right then you do it, but it's a bit of a weird jump. That was a bit weird, I didn't even take a hit. There you go, if you manage to... Oh, no! Oh. There you go. Come on, come on. Hey, there you go. Okay, okay. Woo. And then from here on out, I think it's just turn around and you jump up into the ceiling. Oh, the other way. And there's your teddy bear. There we go. Three to go for the lava ducks. Alright, this one involves me trying to figure out another room. I'm pretty sure it's on the first half of this level though.
the climb of faith. once we're up here, we'll do another save. Good measure. We gotta jump onto this duct, and then weirdly you just gotta kinda leap towards an invisible, well, a barely visible ledge. At some point you stop climbing left, and you just know that you can just climb up into another invisible door. This one actually has the teddy. They didn't excessively hide the secret though, so two more to go. Alright, this one, fortunately, is not that far from the start. It's actually, um... I think you, it's a bit symmetric. You can climb up either of these two, uh, statues. But then you might be thinking, okay, well, how do you get up to the statues? Well, it's a little bit iffy, but we'll get there. I'm gonna come in from this side. Alright, we're gonna save the game here. Uh, you gotta do a kind of weird thing where you, you jump a bit towards this wall, just so that you're running up here. You can then stand here, and then you get to sort of du- oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no one saw that. There you go, you stand here, and then you can do a, two jumps to land up here. Then we start running around, only to then realize, ah yes, there are sisters there. But this is a pretty, like, safe ground, other than how many sisters are just chilling over there. Wasn't me to ho-ho dodge everything in sight. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fun. There you go. Alright. Don't load. We're gonna save. Now gotta jump onto this little, little ledge here, and then, uh, for some odd reason, this is a climbable lava fall again. You know how it always is, it's just like, ah, look, a ledge, well, must be able to climb it. I love the background here. I'm just getting a look at it in, in like, finer detail now. I love that you can really, like, get the gist of this area. Okay, this is apparently a mean jump. We gotta jump over here. Oh, nice. And then one last... Dang it. Jump down here. Oh, no. Hit the slide. Jump down... Oh, hit the, hit the ceiling. Jump over here. And up here. Cool. And as we walk our way up here, there's a bit of a spiky bit. But, yeah. That's fun. Other than, ooh, am I outside the level? Oh. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting thing, but, uh. Let's jump on top. For the teddy bear! Okay, one last teddy bear to go. So now we're in the final level. This one's actually not too bad as well. We've probably done like the worst ones. Already climbed up here today, haven't I? Ah, uh, this one's another one that did change.
over here, you'll spot that there's this wall where it's like it's kind of brick after a bit. Let's save the game. So if you burn all your voodoo power. You'll notice that you start stabbing the wall. It then screams for a bit, and uh, this will allow you to then dart back. back on this ledge. Should be able to find a wall that is now a lava fall out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. It's a little iffy to grab onto, but... go. As we climb up, take in the sights, take in the smells. There are no smells. We don't even go up all the way, actually. There's, actually, there's a secret room just sort of in here. There you go. Inside, we have a secret room, and we grab the teddy bear. And, uh, yeah, that sound is, uh, your indicator, you've done it for all 19 levels, which means, in your item screen, there it is, the bloody teddy bear. I assume that's an unused sprite, and they didn't even remasterify it, they just left it there. But the, uh, the bloody teddy bear is indeed bloody. You can throw it, it sprays blood everywhere. It doesn't even use ammo, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a little hidden hidden item that's just there you can if you've collected all 19 teddy bears you get this cool little secret weapon that you can then start using against enemies and it uh, definitely kills them it really does kill them so say for example I went to the uh, the playrooms because I know it starts off with a couple of enemies right there and you just go up to them and you're like yo just annihilate them I mean, it's it's totally a reward for properly finding all this, like, secret goodies in the whole game, so... It's well-deserved. Uh, and speaking of well-deserved, let's use it on that final boss, just for funsies. Luke, there you are. Alright, let's give him... let's give it to him. Oh, that's... that's... that's the first phase already. Wow. Get up. Get up, you bastard. All right, to the phase two. Now I'm throwing a teddy bear at him. Down we go. Oh, 
I get more love out of the the, the light salt. That was straightforward enough. <laughs> this was the one flaw in your plan, Legion. The Dark Souls have given me the power to defeat you. I've read my prophecy. And Legion shall take the Dark Souls unto him. Well, here they are. I think it's time to make a fast exit. 